How about another bonus topic? What about having some fun with some of the ramp pieces? Just like the models that I 3D printed and added actual magnets to, SolidWorks has a tool called Magnetic Mates. It's another one of those that people eh, maybe should use more than they do. So I've got a copy of the assembly. I went in and made a copy of all the different components, added Magnetic Mates to the beginning of the names so we wouldn't get them confused with some of the other folders. So in the bo Bonus Magnetic Mates folder, We've got a Magnetic Mates Skate Park. So let's open that up. I've already got some of the parts set up. So let's see how this works. Remember if we use the left mouse button to click on a component and drag it, we can move it around? Well, with Magnetic Mates applied, now we've got these little pink dots and lines that snap up. If I let go right there, it'll snap back in place. So kind of as I drag it, it's going to kind of choose which of those mates to, to work with. Um, even can change direction and sides. Now look at the cursor feedback that's kind of pulled up at the bottom here. There's options for cycling the connection points. The left bracket will control the points on the moving component. That's the ramp. So left bracket, left bracket, left bracket. You see it toggling there. The right bracket will move the dots on the static component and let me snap it in place over there. So let's see how this can be set up. I'm going to open this up in its own window and we can play with the stairs a little bit. So when we added the magnets earlier with the magnetic mates, we used something from the reference geometry pull down. We used the mate references. That's not what we're going to do here. We actually have to go to the Tools pull-down, and there's an option for an Asset Publisher. Okay, so let's see how this works. It wants us to pick a ground plane. Well, this part is perfect for that. The bottom of our part is really what's connected to the ground. Okay, connecting points. How do we do that? Well, we've got four spots for magnets here. It's wanting a point. Well, we've got a circle. If we use that circle, and then it's wanting a face for the connection direction. We'll pick this face and we can say add connector. Same thing, that circle, that face, add connector. That circle, that face, add connector. One more, that circle, that face, and add connector. It's that easy. Once you get started, it just flows pretty nicely. If we look in the feature manager tree, we can expand this out. It's got our ground plane. It's got each of our different connection points that we can use in a bit. And we're going to use the window pull down to switch back over to the main assembly. So now I've got this part pulled in here. If I get in kind of an orientation where I can see this, I can drag it around. And there are my dots right there. I can drag and let it go right there. If I drag it far enough, I can actually see it kind of trying to snap to this other side. And so I can toggle between the static components or the moving components, or just kind of get it close to the ones that I, I want to use. Snap it in place, and we can rearrange our skate park just like we can with the 3D printed version. So that is Magnetic Mates.